So I was like 3.1415926. Uh, that's great, man. That is not a funny joke. Come on, Sally. Because he said, how much is the pie? That isn't funny, though. You're just saying numbers. It's not even a joke. It's just a pun. Yeah, it's punny. Now that was a joke. Great one, man. No, that was another pun. Maybe you just aren't smart enough to get it. Yeah, I mean, no offense. Excuse me? And why would I take offense? Because you aren't smart? I'm smarter than both of you. You're not smarter than me. Seriously? Sally, it's your turn. Oh my god, I have no need to prove my intelligence, and especially not to you two clowns. I bet you can't name five famous clowns. Can you? Send in the clowns, killer clowns from outer space. Those aren't famous clowns. The first one is a song, and the second one is a crappy movie. Just because they're more famous than you. Pennywise? Please kill me. Sally, don't say that. Pennywise might hear you. Sally, what are you worried about? You're pretty young and female. Women. Safety. <coughs> Safety. Read it and weep, idiots. Oh, hello, Sally. What's this? I got first place in the qualifiers for the Tri State Intelligence Competition. I'm going to compete in the regional finals this weekend. Did you ask for it off? What is this now? It's an intelligence competition. It's like where they test your intelligence through different competitive performance evaluation scenarios and stuff. Like a decathlon of the mind. No thanks, man. If I win, I'm officially qualified to say I'm smarter than any of you. Because none of you has won an intelligence competition. That's how it works. I won an intelligence competition once. Really? Yeah, they had a big flat screen TV set up at the mall with a huge bowl next to it. I filled out a raffle ticket and gave the man $5. Then he called me like a week later and told me I won. That's not an intelligence competition, man. What is it then? You won a television. Seems pretty smart to me. Was it a smart TV? You're all really dumb, and after I win this competition, it's going to be official. If you want to win this contest, you're going to need to eat some mushrooms. You know they're the Earth's brain, Sally. Why am I going to ask? What are you talking about? They say. Who's they? The scientists, Sally. I can't do this right now. Scientists have proven, Sally, that our brains are passing, like, electrical signals back and forth, like, all the time. Wow, that's really moving. And when the scientists look at the mushrooms in the ground, guess what they found? The hundredth brick? Nope. Your brain? Incorrect. They found the same electrical signals and patterns in the Earth. Are you saying if Sally eats the Earth's brains, she'll consume its intelligence? Just like the zombies, bro. 
just like the zombies. So, Sally, would you like mushrooms on your comp today? Yeah, but not because I think they're going to make me smarter. Okay, Sally. Wink. Did you just say wink? Nah. Wink. Say it with me, bro. Matsutaki. Matsutaki. I'm telling you. Never have I had such a delectable morsel. And you just find this stuff grown in the ground, huh? Yeah, man. But you gotta be careful because some of those things are poisonous. These Matsutaki, though, my cousin found a guy downtown who'll pay $50 a pound. Shut up. I'm telling you, bro. For mushrooms? Yeah, bro. But it takes these kind. Matsutaki. Matsutaki. Yeah, bro. Alright then. Morning, Sally. Yeah, morning, Sally. It is a lovely morning, isn't it? Sounds like someone found a husband. Oh my god, screw you. For your information, guess what I did this weekend? You found a man, Sally. I just told you that. No, Dumbbell, look. Whoa. So where's your TV? There's no TV, Jesse. But I did get a gift card. That's great, Sally. Now you won't feel so stupid when we talk over your head all the time. Alright, one, you never talk over my head because you spit when you talk. And I refuse to stand under you. And two, this right here is physical proof that I, me, am the smartest person at McDougal's. Would the smartest person really say that, though? Yes. Makes you think, though. No, it doesn't. Wink. Three, one, four, one, five, nine. <laughs> like pie, right? What's like pie? Because you're saying the lights like pizza pie? Yes, Sally, this is a pizza pie. Is it your first day? No, I mean because the number pie? Who said anything about the number pie? You, just now. I was just listing numbers. Well, you said the first, like, eight digits of pi, so I was just making a joke. Well, it wasn't funny. Mud just made the same joke last week, and you all told me I was dumb for thinking it wasn't funny. We don't think you're dumb, Sally. Really? Yeah. You're just not as smart as us. What about the competition? I'm literally certified to call myself the smartest person here. You know, Sally, intelligence is just as much about knowing what not to say. Oh my god, I hate you guys. There's a lot of anger coming from that woman, I tell you what. I'd be frustrated too if I was surrounded by mental giants. I guess so. Good day, my name is Muskelang. I'm with the Associated Members of the Coalition for Certification and certif Certificates. For, and for the Certification of Certificates. Oh yeah, the 5C. What can we do for you? Well, sir, we have the physical copy of a certificate here for Mr. Mud Sampson, and we'd like to deliver it to him post-haste. Yo, that's me. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Wow, congratulations, man. Thank you very much. It's quite an honor, huh? Indeed it is, my good fellow. Well, that's great, man. I'm happy for you. Yeah, 
is just one thing that still has me puzzled. A mystery, the solution to which eludes even an advanced network of thoughts, feelings, and emotions is as possessed by this humblest of men. And what pretell might that be? Did I just get served?